uh, hello friends today in this tutorial I will be showing you that how basically we can build out a Microsoft Word document viewer and also we how to convert them into HTML documents so there is basically this application where you will choose your uh, Word document after this click on this button submit and convert so as you click this button guys you will see the content of the Word document will be shown right here so here you will preview your Word document so this will also contain text formatting images as well so this is basically base64 image which is embedded inside the word document and now if you want to convert this uh, inside html we have a button right here so if you click this button your html file will be downloaded right here as an attachment so this is now the html file right here guys this is successfully downloaded right here so you can see that so we will building this application inside JavaScript and we will be using a library co called as manmoth.js so if you just type m-a-n-m-o-t-h dot js so this is the JavaScript library guys which allows you to convert your Microsoft Word document into HTML we are also using file saver library to basically download the file as an attachment using JavaScript it's a save as implementation so you can select any document guys click on that and now it will show you the live preview this will also include images as well you will see that and uh, let's suppose if I want to click download now this file is converted to HTML so this is a really easy converter with it allows you to convert your word documents into HTML and also you can live preview your word document files in the browser so let's start building this application so the source code is given in the description of the video guys you can check the description and first of all now let me write the basic HTML which will be required for this so all the JavaScript files I have included guys you will see in the directory structure you will get this uh, directory structure in the description of the video so here we will basically write the HTML code guys so inside we will use the bootstrap class here container flute so here guys we will have custom file this is a class here we will basically allow the user to upload a file input type will be file and this will be a class custom file input we will give it an ID of file underscore in and this will only accept these much file doc docs and uh, application slash ms word application slash vn so these files basically are word document files vnd dot open xml formats let me just copy paste the code guys this is slightly complicated code and then explain to you what is happening so this is basically the HTML code guys and uh, you will see the interface we have basically this input field right here where we allow the user to select the file it only allows you to uh, upload the doc file docs file then the label choose a word file and then we got a button guys which allows you to convert submit and convert and then we got a download button to basically convert the file to a HTML and download this so if you open this there will be this uh, interface application if you choose this a window will appear where you can choose your file so it will show the file that you selected you can change the file and you can even click the browse button here also and click on submit and convert and now guys what will happen here basically it will show it will call this method which is there so let me delete the javascript code so nothing will be present right here so if you now nothing will be there if you see we are selecting the file but it is not reflecting so now we just need to write this function so whenever we select the file this function needs to be executing so as we load the page here so for this we are using some jQuery 
So inside the JavaScript guys, we will have the ready event. So when the document is ready in that, we will basically target it by the ID that we have given. We will embed an on change event handler. So the, when the file is changed in that case, we will basically say file in and then we will say we will first of all get the reference and after that we will just display the file names so here we will say file name so now to display this guys we will simply say file name uh, text content and this will be equal to file name that's all so what it has done guys basically file name sorry this needs to be file name dot file name text content is equal to file in the files which is selected by the user and the very first file which is which can be accessed by the zeroth index you will get the name of the file and here we will say selected so what this will do guys basically uh, after this we do need to have the catch block as well so if any sort of uh, that's all so basically now if you reload the application if you click the browse button click the file you will see this file is selected here if you change let's suppose if you select this file you will see the file is changed so now if I click the submit and convert button guys it will say please select a file so we do need to basically this button that we write here if you see please select a file so this is coming from here so after we do this guys we need to write this function handle download file select So now we need to write this so so we will say that function handle download file select so here guys you will basically make a method read file input event as array buffer so we need to make this method So inside this method guys we will basically pass the actual file and secondly we will pass the callback function as well. So whenever you call this function right here basically what you need to do we need to pass the actual file and uh, we also need to pass the callback function which will hold the array buffer. So here you will use the library manmoth and it contains a method which is convert to HTML and here we will basically provide array buffer which will be equal to the array buffer here. So it basically will return the promise display result. So we can basically display the result on the screen. So we don't need to write this callback here. We can call the done method. That's all. So this library will basically convert the actual thing to this is convert to HTML. This is a method which will fire. The file basically we have declared the file guys variable. Uh, this is I think we need to do this will handle file select handle file select method so here we are expecting the file here so if you see guys basically this method if you see let me search for this here. handle file select
there is a submit button guys which is there if you see on click this is the submit button we are uh, this is a submit method we need to make right here so this submit button will execute whenever you click that so let's suppose inside this submit button we will basically call this handle file select we will pass the actual file which is selected by the user that's all like this then you will say document download we need to disable that button we need to basically undisable it so if you basically select a file click on that nothing will happen we need to write this function right here uh, after we select this file we are calling this handle file select method so inside handle file select let me write this once again method so now we need to basically uh, write this method read file input event as array buffer so how we can do that it's very easy we need to basically create a reader object and for this we will make use of file reader so reader on load and here we will basically have a function we will call this as loaded event target result and uh, we will again call this callback function which is array buffer and after this we will say reader dot read as uh, read as array buffer and we will pass the file so what it will do guys it will actually display the file whichever file that you select click on that you can check the error if any sort of error take place you will see display result is not defined so now we need to make this function as well so display result is also a function which we are basically passing here so this is actually a callback function which will execute and here we are passing uh, the result that needs to be displayed so we will simply say document dot get element by id output dot inner html and this will be equal to result dot value click now you can see that guys it is now displaying this value inside our browser so this is a word document viewer guys we no longer need microsoft word you can even view your microsoft documents inside your browser and now if you click download this download button will not work because i think i handle download file select is not defined so we need to make this function which will actually download the file convert it first of all to html so we need to make this function handle download file select so this function we have defined inside index.html we are making this function so first of all we will call read file event buffer we will say document.get element by id file in we will get the actual files the user has selected and then array buffer we will again use manmoth and it contains a convert to html we will basically pass uh, array buffer here to the array buffer and after this guys it returns a promise we will say download done now we need to basically define this download method guys which will actually download the file as an attachment so here we will say we need to give it a dynamic file name so we will say file underscore in files zero and uh, we will say the name of the file we will concatenate the extension dot html after this guy we will define the blob we will say new blob we will basically embed the result inside as result dot value so here the type here will be text slash html this is the html file 
that's all so again now we will use the file saver library guys file saver we will use save as pass the blob and then the actual file that's all so this completes the application guys so now if you reload the application select your this is your live preview click the download button so I think some error has there man moth is not defined uh, let me see guys okay this is not man moth m a m m o t yet so mammoth the name of the library i misspelled it click on that We see guys I mis misspelled it somewhere else. I think the error is taking place in this function, so I will let me copy paste this function once again. So if you refresh now. So now you can see that guys the file is downloading the HTML file. So this is the easy way by which you can basically build out a Microsoft Word document viewer and also how to convert them into HTML documents. So thank you very much guys for watching this video. All the source code is given in the description of the video. You can directly purchase the full source code and I will be seeing you in the next video.